What if Tim Burton made a game? The mind behind films like Nightmare Before Christmas, Edward Scissorhands, and Corpse Bride has a unique artistic style mixing gothic themes with strong character development for the most, well, interesting of characters. Spookville Cabin Escape is my take on if Tim Burton were to create a story featuring a Fortnite style gameplay and graphics, an action and adventure third person shooter that my son and I have been working on for the past six months. Let's go into more detail. Tim Burton's art direction is usually dark themes with a cool color palette. That's what I'm trying to achieve here with the full moon and the warmth of the cabin. The outdoors has a bluish green fog to it, giving it a sense of uneasiness and a sense of dread. The cabin has warm colors and the lamps that light the home, marking it as a safe place for the character to explore and to progress the story along. In traditional Tim Burton sense, we also have some strange enemies. Take a look at the first one, a large overgrown spider. The spider has two attack moves, range and melee. The range attack is a spit web effect that will wrap the player up for a short time, allowing the spider to close in and damage the player with its melee attack. These spiders are on the prowl and the player isn't ever truly spared from coming across one or more of these guys. And like most Tim Burton films, we have a very interesting direction in terms of characters in our game. I won't give away too much, but one of the allies we shared in our last video has now grown up by a few feet. Power-ups will give your team of allies an advantage over some of the enemies you might encounter. And our main villain? He's pretty spooky, but I'll save that for another video. We are making great progress each week, and if you enjoy these devlogs, please support us by giving us a like and a subscribe.